Hello there guys and welcome to this MSFS 2020 live stream. We are currently situated at LaGuardia Airport in New York and uh, the purpose of this stream is really to test my new setup and uh, I've fixed some of the issues that I've encountered in the stream last night so I wanted to make sure that I do it with you guys uh, this time and uh, you know we're gonna test the sounds and I hope you guys can help me set up everything you will notice that there is a new theme so uh, I found uh, a nice theme related to aviation I will customize it with time uh, but for the time being I think it looks good I want to welcome Rand hello there my friend and welcome um, so what we're going to do uh, initially here today is uh, we are going to uh, just kind of uh, test things out. So I want you guys to let me know if you can hear me clearly and if you can hear, uh, you know, the sim sounds clearly. If uh, anything overpowers everything, then we'll make some adjustments. And we are going to be taking off in the Cessna 172 and uh, we are going to go and do some flying over, uh, over New York. Uh, we're going to do probably some touch and goes and things like that and uh, we're just going to have fun and uh, throughout this test stream if you will I'm going to do uh, what you guys want me to do so if you have any specific location or you have any questions that you want to uh, ask me then I'll be more than happy to answer them I'm very glad that I was able to set up everything uh, yesterday so I was pretty bummed out after the stream last night so I kind of spent some time and set up the sound and you know the headsets and all that good stuff so all is good at my end so you guys just let me know if everything is well at yours so we've got um, Mahon Gaming uh, hello there uh, I've got the FFA 320 for Christmas uh, well Merry Christmas to you I'm glad that you got something you like and of course, Rand uh, needs no introduction on the Q8 Pilot channel, one of the long time supporters of the channel and a very good friend. Uh, Kabir, hello there, my friend. Uh, we've got Omer, uh, we've got Angelo, virtual pilot Q8. Hello there, my friend, and welcome. And then we've got Felipe and Bombasso. Hello, hello, my friend, and welcome. So, the first thing first is if you guys can let me know uh, if you can hear my voice clearly. Uh, so that's going to be the first, uh, the first test, if you will. And uh, the second one would be if you can hear the sim properly. Uh, so that's, uh, that would be number two. And of course, I am using an ultra-wide monitor, so the resolution is a bit off, so it's 2580 by 1080. Uh, so you will be able to see the stream in a um, uh, sort of uh, okay sound really good perfect perfect that's very good I'm glad to hear that um, if FPS is pretty good if you guys are interested in the settings uh, we'll take a look at them but this is uh, for uh, as soon as soon as I started uh, Streamlabs OBS I noticed that there is a little bit of a drop in FPS so I kind of toned down the settings a little bit so that we can enjoy the ride. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We are going to power up the battery on uh, alternator, and we're going to turn on uh, nav lights and beacon lights. Mixture is already on full rich. We're going to crack the throttle just a bit, and I believe we need to click this guy here. And we're going to switch to, we've got it on both, so that should be good. All right, let's start it. All right, here we go. We have a good start. Oh, the parking brake isn't set, so let's make sure we set the parking brake. And we can now turn on the avionics. Ground Kuwaiti 874 requesting pushback. Kuwaiti 874 pushback request accepted. All right. And it looks like uh, there are so far no complaints as far as the uh, the sounds. So please do let me know if you uh, you know if you feel the sounds aren't working as they should. Uh, we don't need we don't need that guy. So let's just stop pushback. Ground Kuwaiti eight seven four requesting the end of pushback. 
All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to depart. Uh, we're going to depart LaGuardia, and uh, we're going to head over. Uh, you know, Ground over to New York uh, City, and we're going to take a look at the. Uh, uh, you know, at the at the skyscrapers, uh, maybe Statue of Liberty, and we're gonna make some turns and some landings. All right, let me just make sure that all is good. Taxiing hold short runway three one using taxiway Zulu Kuwaiti eight seven four. All right, here we go. So I have no clue if everything is fine here. All right. Okay, so let's go ahead and yeah. All right, let me just uh, I'm just doing something on my iPad so that I can follow what you guys are saying in the chat. All right, there we go. All right, looks like no complaints in terms of the sound. So we are gonna go ahead and release the parking brake and head over to the runway. Now, one thing I haven't been able to do is to uh, detect the tow access. Uh, I'm using the J rudder, uh, Bluebird, um, a Redbird, actually. Ayat, hello there, my friend, and welcome to the stream. All right, let's go ahead and turn on the landing lights. Strobe. And here's the external view. So again, if you guys uh, are unable to hear uh, my voice or if the sim sounds uh, overpower my voice, then please do let me know. All right, here we go. And I'm not gonna wait for clearance. I'm just gonna go ahead and take off Bonjour, my friend from Paris. Hello there. All right, here we go. We are ready to go. And we're going to set full RPM for takeoff. There we go. Full RPM is set. Thanks very much, Rand, for the confirmation. 60 knots, rotate. There we go, everything's looking no, fine and dandy. Not to take off. Yeah, that's right. All right. So all is looking good. Now, I'm, I'm actually curious to know how would the, uh, because I know York, the approach, resolution is not standard so I would be very interested to know what you guys think of this resolution if you have of course an ultra wide monitor it would be it would look fantastic but I know most of you guys don't uh, so uh, I would ask you guys to let me know if uh, you know if you think that I should go back to the old monitor or if this is fine uh, it's going to be really helpful for me is this a Maybe private flight? Navigation. Well, kind of, sort of, Phil. Cleared through the Bravo airspace, Kuwaiti 874. It's not a private stream, no, so it's open to the public. Everybody can join. Everybody's welcome to join here and uh, help out a little bit with uh, the testing. Delta 3, 86, you are eight miles Just look Florida. at this scenery. It's gorgeous. Pretty smooth. And uh, yeah, I really, uh, I really am very happy with this, uh, with this build. All right, so we're gonna, uh, we're gonna on start leveling off Delta here. Delta 
just really fantastic view of, uh, of New York. Alright, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to turn on the uh, autopilot. We're going to set the altitude there to 1000. And uh, we are going to set the heading to 240, actually 230 degrees. And let's go ahead and use the heading mode. And now we can chat and uh, you guys can let me know what you think or what you want me to do during this test stream. Uh, the most important thing for me is to verify that the resolution is okay with you guys, that you're happy with it, uh, that you're happy with the sound, uh, both my sound and that of the sim, and nothing really overpowers the other. And uh, then from that point forward, I pretty much can do whatever you guys want me to do. So, switch that to GPS. Look at that view. Just really in terms of the visual uh, quality, everything in Microsoft Flight Simulator is simply outstanding. Do you advise me to buy the Cyborg X joystick since it's the only joystick available in Jordan? Well, I haven't used that joystick to be honest, so I can't really vouch for whether it's a good joystick or not. Um, but what I can tell you is, if it is the only available one, then I guess you've got no choice. So it's the only one available. It's the one that you probably should get. Frequency change approved. Ooh, we're getting uh, carried away with our speed here, so Squawk let's reduce the speed. And Frequency let's maintain about 100 knots or so. The resolution is excellent, you New sound uh, smooth, it's very it's good, your videos are always nice. So thank you very much, Ayad, really West appreciate it. Alright, let's switch to external view. Now that movement, that oscillation of the aircraft going up and down is extremely realistic. Look at that scene. Absolutely gorgeous. Copy It's really, really good. The Statue of Liberty is right ahead of us right there, so let's go ahead and adjust our heading just a little bit here. Uh, monitor effects stream, uh, can you elaborate? Yeah, well, okay. So in terms of the monitor, I'm using an ultra wide 34 inch 3440 by, four, uh, by 1440p monitor. So it is uh, a QHD monitor. It is a non-standard resolution as far as YouTube is concerned. So, um, Currently, the I've scaled down, of course, from 3440 because I will probably not be able to um, increase the bitrate that much to stream at 3440. So I'm streaming at 2580 by 1080, and that means that um, uh, that means that this is a non-standard resolution. So YouTube, there are a lot of features such as the uh, you know subscribe button and all that stuff is. is isn't going to be available and it might look a little different on different screens so of course I'm, I don't know and so that's why I'm doing this test stream so most of you can test and let me know um, you know what what's your experience like uh, VR video coming anytime soon I do not have uh, I unfortunately do not have the uh, uh, VR all right, uh, and uh, let's see here. So, uh, did you download the USA update? Not yet, no, uh, because this is a, a, as I've moved to the new build, I've seen the update, but um, no, I haven't, I haven't downloaded it yet, so. Well, looks like there are some guys flying there. Just look at that view. It's really, really nice. Incredible uh, scenery, uh, really, in Microsoft Flight Simulator.
Well, let's see here. Uh, Statue of Liberty is right ahead of us now. There you go. That's the Statue of Liberty. Right there. And what we can do is uh, we can bring up the VFR uh, map here and we can see where we are. So it looks like there are, you know, we can start making a uh, right turn or a left turn. Let's do a left turn. And from this point forward, it's uh, pretty much uh, up to you guys what you want me to do. This looks absolutely fantastic. I also have 340 by 440 monitor, but when I turn your stream in full screen, it looks like 2560 by 1080. I don't know why. Oh, so the reason why is I have scaled down the uh, the actual output. So the actual canvas size is 3440 by 1440, uh, but I've scaled it down for streaming. But if you watch my last video, the last video that I've uploaded, you will be able to watch it in ultra wide uh, format. This looks pretty good. All right, let's uh, let's create some fun here, and uh, let's. Uh, all right, I'm gonna let you guys. I need to take this call. Yeah, all right, so let's do some fun here, uh, some fun things, and uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna change the, uh, you don't like to use track IR. Oh no, I'm, I'm fine with track IR, not a problem. So I haven't done any uh, flights during nighttime, so in Microsoft Flight Simulator, so that's what we're gonna do now. So I've changed the time, and the lighting in um, MSFS is, uh, is actually pretty good if you ask me. There is a runway right there. Uh, maybe we'll do a touch and go or something New York like approach, that. Kuwaiti, eight, seven, but yeah, it looks pretty good. Look at that. Clearance to transition Bravo airspace. Kuwaiti, eight, seven, four, and you can see all the strobes and all the these guys airspace. flying around this area. So I think in my Clear view, uh, airspace, multiplayer Kuwaiti, eight, seven, is the thing in Microsoft Flight Simulator. That's I think Regular where this game really shines, uh, and it's a lot of fun to fly, do uh, group flights uh, with friends, uh, immense fun really to do it. So I highly recommend it. Oh yeah, I didn't see that now streaming full HD. Yeah, so it should be full HD. Um, where do you scale down in OBS or, oh no, in OBS of course, yes. So in OBS, if you go to the settings and you go to the output, you'll be able to change the... Uh, in fact, why don't I just show you... Uh, so this is OBS. If you go here to the settings and you go to the uh, video, you can see here I have the base canvas at 3440 and output at 2580 by 1080. So that's what I've done there. Yeah, all right. Let me go ahead and turn off the autopilot and we are going to attempt to land here
Right, power to idle. What do you guys think? The night lighting in Microsoft Flight Simulator or in um, X Plane 11? Which one wins? In my view, um, the night lighting in, in X Plane is somehow. I don't know. I feel it's more realistic. Uh, but this one is uh, not too far off either. I think it looks pretty good. Right, and first degree, well, actually, flaps full, that's fine. Explain always. <laughs> All right, we're lined up now. Are a bit uh, too low. Uh, we can bring some lights here to the cockpit. There we go. Tell you, uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator visuals uh, are just simply outstanding. Right, 60 knots, we're coming in nice now. And we might just do touch and go and uh, take off again. And uh, please let me guys know if there is anything specific you want me to do uh, or an area that you want to visit. I'll be more than happy to do this as this is a test stream uh, to test, you know, the voice quality my headset and all the new setup and uh, I guess connectivity and all that good stuff. All right, let's reduce power. The new build locally sourced, uh, I brought some of it online, any recommended local stores for builds. Uh, personal computer in, uh, in Hawali is, is pretty good, their prices are reasonable. Uh, Quadra Computing is another one in, uh, in Beirut Street, uh, Ibn Khaldun Street I think, in Beirut Street I think. Uh, so yeah, those, those are the good places in Kuwait where you can go, but my recommendation really my friend is uh, e if you know how to do it build it yourself um, that way you know exactly what went into the into the build and you know that I, I like to do it myself because I like the wiring um, especially on the back of the uh, unit or on the side uh, to be in a, in a specific way um, and I don't trust those stores to build them the way I like them to be built so yeah I, I prefer to build it myself all right, here we go. Touchdown. All right. And uh, let's go ahead and give it full power. Full RPM. And 60 knots. Rotate. We're going to wait for 300 feet. Delta 654, continue taxi. Right, about 17 knots for the climb. New York approach, Kuwait. 800 feet, flaps are going up. Skyhawk, one miles west of Kennedy, 200 feet. Request clearance to transition Bravo airspace. Did you make any build videos so we can see the wiring? Uh, some pictures, at least, perhaps. Well, I can definitely take pictures of my latest build and show you what I've done. Uh, you have the specs, uh, so the specs are posted in every video now. 
but yeah, I will definitely uh, take some pictures and show you how, you, how I've done the wiring. Uh, and of course, I do like the, uh, you know, all those uh, gadgets, you know, the RAM with the RGB and lights and things like that. I think it looks cool and I enjoy working on those and uh, it's quite fun to do it. So yeah, definitely. I'll, uh, by the way, you'll be able to see my build on my Instagram um, account Q8 Captain 74 uh, you'll be able to see uh, a short video uh, of the build uh, my, my recent build alright so here's what I'm gonna do let's go ahead and change the weather to scattered clouds and we're gonna change the time how about right over there look at that Wow. I mean, it looks stunning. Those clouds look very realistic. The whole scene looks just fabulous, really. All right, let's go ahead and engage the autopilot. Altitude, hold. And let's see. We are going to just our heading. And let's go heading mode. There we go. Just look at that scene. If you had to choose a single engine aircraft in MSFS to fly VFR around the world, which one do you... Definitely, without any doubt, the Cessna 152 uh, is the one that I would uh, go with, definitely. Uh, it's a remarkable aircraft, one of the best, really, uh, as far as I'm concerned. This is what things look like during daylight now. Again, look at those clouds. Looks fantastic. So, guys, can you still hear my voice uh, over the voice of the sim uh, clearly? Um, that's something I'm very interested to know. I think we're getting carried away with the speed there. So let me just check the speed here real quick. Yeah. Yeah, if you can just confirm uh, that you can hear me clearly even in external view, that would be great. Thank you very much, Ren. Appreciate it. Appreciate it, really. Thank you for all your help and support. All right. Let's... Uh, change things around a bit. So we're going to go to Broken Clouds. And now you can see how dramatic the scene is. Still pretty smooth. Looks fantastic, really. When uh, MFS will have same flight models explained specifically for airliners, it will be there. And number one, do you agree? Yes, I definitely agree um, that Microsoft Flight Simulator still needs a lot of work uh, in terms of flight model uh, and high fidelity um, airliners. Uh, I know there is the A320 NEO, uh, there is a fly-by-wire project that constantly uh, keep updating the aircraft, uh, bringing uh, you know, depth to the system simulation. Uh, kind of similar like the Zebo in X-Plane. Um, but yeah, that's something uh, definitely that I look forward to uh, in uh, in uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator. And uh, of course, uh, PMDG doesn't seem to be ready to launch their product in 2021, so it might be a long wait before we see anything uh, that is uh, you know as high fidelity as what we see in X-Plane. To Good sound in cockpit outside, a little bit of engine too loud. Oh, thanks for letting me know. External engine sound a bit loud. Uh, you quiet. Okay. Feet. Well, that tells me that I probably either need to adjust the sound of the sim uh, or increase mine. And uh, mine, it looks like, ooh, it's like the max uh, desktop audio. So, why is that full? So, we're going to put this down here. Yeah, and maybe now, all right, let's see if this is better. So if you can now confirm that um, you can still hear me okay in uh, external view.
that would again help. And the next thing I want to do is I want to go here and go to Overcast and see what that looks like. Perfect. Now it's nice. Perfect. Thank you very much, guys. Really appreciate all your help. And hopefully the next stream is going to be the bomb. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you very much, Dublin. This. Thank you very much, my friend. All right. So let's do one more thing. Let's uh, do rain. Uh, I can see the rain on the windshield now. And it's pretty, still pretty smooth, uh, pretty steady FPS, everything looking pretty good uh, so far. So let's go ahead now and go back to live weather. All right, and an external view, that's what we see here. All is good. All right, so what would you guys like me to do next uh we could continue to fly and chat we can go to some other locations and explore them if that's what you like to do uh, of course i'm going to continue to answer your uh your questions as we progress here uh, but yeah just uh, let me know what you like to do Antarctica. Do you have a specific uh, ICO code that you want us to go to? Uh, if so, just uh, give me the ICO code and I'll be more than happy to, uh, you know, to visit that location. No, that's all right. Well, I've also installed some alerts for the new subs, uh, which kind of, you know, looks like more you know, aviation related stuff. So, all right, so here's what I'm gonna do. Uh, how about we do, uh, all right, let's bring up the map. Maybe that will uh, fly to Lake Como with the icon A5. Uh, if you can tell me again, the ICO code uh, for the location or is it a point of interest? All right, let's go ahead and do this and go to the main menu. Maybe that will, uh, you know, give you guys some ideas. Now, I haven't actually downloaded all the uh, all the aircraft yet, but I think I do have the A5 uh, in the hangar. Let's see here. All right, so world map. Uh, let me zoom out. Let's see here. By the way, uh, South America has a lot of nice places to... Uh, to fly into but then I'm gonna again uh, wait for you guys to let me know uh, what you want me to do let's see here um, uh, those are my friends flying you know what let's pop and see what they're doing all right set as departure continue let's see where they're flying that's, by the way, guys, that's Magnus, uh, CEO of Threshold. So we're just going to pop in and say hello. Uh, I will need my Discord, so we'll just probably fly around that same area, see what they're doing. I always really like it when you're telling some interesting, important thing about... Some, oh, thank you very much, my friend. Really appreciate it. I'm glad that I am able to provide you guys with uh, something useful. All right, so let's see what the, where those guys are flying. Uh, we're going to make sure this is on live weather. Yeah, that's probably Magnus. Hello, Magnus. And he's probably streaming as well. But yeah, what I can do is I can bring Discord and speak to them on Discord. Yeah, I know he flies uh, FS Economy. Copy Cessna X-ray Golf Sierra. That's definitely Magnus, yeah.
you know what, I just noticed that my yoke is kind of flying in opposite directions. I'm not sure why. But it's doing some really strange things. Alright, here we go. Now one of the things I like in Microsoft Flight Simulator is the cloud smoothing. So as you go through the cloud, you can see that it's very smooth. Just look at that. Very, very smooth. That's definitely Magnus. Yeah, that's the livery I get when flying with him. Isn't that cool, guys? One of the things I like about Microsoft Flight Simulator is being able to do this. We were doing this all night last night. It was uh, a lot of fun. Rand, thank you very much, my friend, for the $10 donation. You've done it again. You've done it yesterday, and you've done it now. I really can't thank you enough for your support um, and friendship, really. Yeah, well, this area is, is kind of pretty flat. What do you guys think? Nothing very interesting going on here. All right, so we have a new uh, Lima, India, Lima Yankee. All right, let's do that. So let's go to the main menu and we will select, um, let's see here. All right, here we go. Lima, India, Lima, Yankee. Uh, let's see here. Hmm. That doesn't seem to be in here. Lima, India, it's not there. So we probably need to go to the closest airport to it and then fly towards it. Uh, but yeah. I got the game recently, I want to play with people. Yeah, that's actually the nicest thing you can do. Uh, yes, you can definitely uh, do multiplayer. Um, so as you can see now here on the map, uh, you know, you can come over here and uh, you can invite friends so you can add friends. So I have those guys added here and therefore I can see them on the map now as they fly. Uh, there, for example, and right there. Uh, you can always agree on a departure airport and, uh, you know, fly together. Uh, it needs a little bit of coordination, uh, so if you're not used to formation flying, it can take a little bit of time for you to get, you know, um, you know, you get acclimated with, with everything that needs to be done. Uh, you guys need to coordinate with one another, of course. Uh, but all right, let's, let's uh, go ahead and uh, see what other places uh, we can go to. Um, some points of interest here. We've done JFK. There is uh, Seattle, uh, Vancouver, Victoria. So where do you guys want to go? Let me know and then we can uh, go and fly somewhere. I mean, can you play multiplayer now? Well, I can. Um, if you guys are, um, if you can tell me where you want me to go to the ramp and you guys want to join, um, by all means, let's do that. Uh, I'm pretty much, uh, okay, let's uh, see what aircraft I've got here. So, yeah, I've got some of these, uh, let's see, turboprops. We've got the Pepistrel virus. Um, yeah, we can, that's the Icon A5. All right. Uh, Lima 05 to Bakersfield is a great quick flight. Well, we can definitely do that. <laughs> so let's see uh, Lima 05 all right Kern Valley uh, zoom to details and we'll set the aircraft somewhere here set as departure and if you guys want to join in uh, by all means uh, just start up your simulator and let's do it 
and welcome uh, the Theodoric uh, Bernan, I hope I said that correctly. Welcome to the channel, my friend. Thank you for your subscription. Callan, thank you very much for becoming a subscriber. And thank you for 2012 Ford Fusion Four Deer Sedan for subscribing to the channel. Welcome, my friend. All right, so we are going to go to um, Bakersfield. Do you have the uh, ICO code for Bakersfield? Um, it, it's kilo. What? If you have the uh, the code for Bakersfield, would be great. Or we could just start there and fly. So if you guys want to start your aircraft, if you want my handle, my handle is right there. Q8 Pilot 8814. Send me invitation. I will accept it, and uh, we can go flying together. Uh, if that's what you like to do. So I'm going to go ahead and load up at Lima 05 Kern Valley uh, right now. So fly. Uh, let me make sure I switch on all my avionics and my magnetos. KBFL. Like classic soundtrack from MSF. Yeah, I do like the uh, the legacy uh, soundtrack. It's uh, it's very nostalgic, and it reminds me of the days I used to fly FSX um, and Microsoft Flight Simulator when it first came out. Ninety eight, I believe, was. Ooh, look, it's raining here. Oh, jeez, look at that. Uh, we've got some birds there as well. Just one of the things, again, I like about Microsoft Simulator is the simulation of rain. As you can see, the rain on the windshield, the rain, um, the refraction on the uh, on the ground. Uh, you can see the movement of, you know, the vehicles uh, is, is per done very well, I must say. Uh, so, yeah, definitely you can see also the uh, the track here from the from the tires. So yeah, and this is what uh, things look like in the external view. So yeah, absolutely gorgeous. Really looks very, very good indeed. All right, so I have no idea if this is uh, Grass uh, Airport or if that's the runway there, I'm not sure. Uh, let's take a look here at the VFR map. Yeah. Well, I tell you, I'm not sure if, uh, well, we can start the aircraft and go there. So if you guys want to join in, uh, please do so. And uh, probably we just do some casual flying there. I sent for an invite and a channel. Is that correct? Uh, what a weather. Yeah. <laughs> Wait for me. All right, I'll wait for you some aviation. Uh, let's go ahead and see if I've received the invitation. I'm not sure if I received the invitation. What settings do I? Well, you don't really, I mean, you can keep your regular settings. Uh, just make sure that you have, um, you know, uh, all players and live weather. So I have live weather at the moment. Uh, but yeah, this looks pretty good. Here, let's uh, let's do one thing. Uh, let's try to. Yeah, the visibility is is pretty bad, folks. And we've got birds too. Yeah, maybe we shouldn't fly in in real weather uh, because it is definitely not very suitable. So what I'm gonna going to do is I'm going to come here, and let's say a few clouds. Now, one of the things you'll notice is the ground is still wet uh, immediately after the rain. So it takes a little bit of time for it to dry off. And that is something I really adore in, uh, in Microsoft Flight Simulator. So yeah, definitely it's gonna take some time. You can see all the, even the, uh, the sand land here is still wet and then things start drying off with time. So yeah, this looks like a pretty fascinating area to fly around. So, uh, so let's go ahead and uh, take off. Lima 05 is the airport, yeah, that's correct. 
I'll tell you what, I'm going to go ahead and take off, and then you can spawn, you can find me and spawn where, uh, where you see me. So, uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and make sure that the battery one and two, uh, battery and alternator are on. We'll switch the avionics and uh, beacon lights, nav lights. Uh, I think I might need the fuel. Mm, I'm not sure what I'm doing here, to be honest with you guys. But that looks like the fuel. Ah, that's the parking brake, not the fuel. <laughs> well, so much for what I know about this aircraft. I know very little about it, but uh, where is the fuel? Hmm. All right, let's see. That's the master switch. Flaps, all is looking good here. That's the brake. There we go. Fuel. And everything else looks good. Okay. So now we should be able to start it. Oh, there we go. Okay. We're good to go, folks. Let's go ahead and release the parking brake. And it looks the runway is right ahead of us right there. So we can taxi through this side here, I suppose. Man, this area looks pretty nice. Yeah. Uh, well, there isn't any specific plan today. Uh, you should next time make some VFR event. Yeah, you know what, guys? Uh, we will do a VFR event. I think I'm just really getting ideas from you guys. So the purpose of this uh, stream was really to test the sound and make sure that, uh, you know, I um, address all the issues encountered in the stream last night. Uh, it was a new rig. I didn't know what to expect. Uh, and, uh, you know, ran into some issues. I'm not sure if this is a road or if this is a taxiway. Uh, I really am not sure. Uh, but what we're going to do is, uh, it looks like there is a runway. I'm not sure if this is the runway. Yeah, that is the runway indeed. Yeah. So that is a taxiway. So, yeah, so there, there isn't any specific, um, any specific uh, plan. Uh, we're just going to take off and have some fun. And if you guys want to join, I am at Lima05. Uh, you can definitely join there and we can have some fun together. And uh, next time I will uh, definitely do a VFR event. Uh, I will give you, of course, details prior to the stream. And uh, yeah, maybe we'll do it with... Uh, Maybe I'll do it first with members, and then we'll, uh, you know, once, you know, we all kind of know what we're doing, then we open it for um, everyone else. I'll think about it and see what we can do there. But yeah, I'm going to go all the way there and then take off that way. What server are you on? I believe I am on the north. Uh, let's see here. All right, looks like there is an invitation. All right, invitation accepted. I am on North Europe. That's the server I'm on. And you should be able to see me on the map now, so you should be able to spawn exactly at my location. Asia or Middle East? Yeah, sure. Why not? Uh, we can do that for sure. All right, here we go. Landing lights. 
Strobe lights. I think there is uh, sufficient runway for us to take off right over here. A little bit of an uh, FPS uh, drop there. All right, we're good to go and full power. Wow, this looks fantastic. Thank you for the recommendation to fly from this area. This looks fantastic. All right, and rotate. Gear is going up. This looks outstanding. Wow. Look at that, folks. Really, really nice. You know, too bad uh, we don't have a replay mode in, uh, in Microsoft Flight Simulator. But I tell you, this is a lot of fun. All right, looks like uh, we're going to head over to Lake Isabella. Guys, whoever would like to send me a friend request, please do so. Um, I will definitely accept all friend requests here. Uh, if you guys want to come fly with me, uh, I will be delighted and honored to have you all fly with me and uh, have some fun together. Um, so absolutely, if you want to, if you feel like sending a uh, friend request and you want to join me here in the sim, uh, please go right ahead. My handle is Q8Pilot8814. What a fantastic view. Right, looks like the birds are right over there with about three uh, nautical miles. And we should be, uh, we should see uh, the, uh, should see some birds there. All right, let's check it out here. Uh, let's see. I think I need to pause the sim. So I'll tell you what, uh, you guys keep sending those requests, I'll accept all of them. Do you fly online VATSIM RVAO? I mean, not now, but sometimes. Yes, I do. Uh, I do fly on VATSIM. Uh, I find it a very friendly network, uh, quite fun. So I do fly on VATSIM every now and then, yeah. How can I see you on the map in-game? Uh, can I see in the, no you can't unfortunately see me in the VFR map but from the world map you should be able to you should be able to spot me uh, in this vicinity of uh, Lima 05 and uh, we can see the birds now are closer I'm not sure if they're behind the mountains but there is somebody actually flying right over there I don't have the name tags uh, shown so I don't know who's flying um, but yeah, I can see someone now to my left.
Man, this is absolutely fantastic. Really nice uh, area to fly around. I'm not sure where those birds are, but it looks like they're somewhere here. Yeah, we're coming real close now. Well, supposedly those are the birds. I can't see. I can only see this. Uh, yeah, I definitely can't see any birds, but there you go. Uh, I will very uh, appreciate if you sometime make full uh, commerce flight on Batson with English uh, phraseology. Yeah, for sure. Man, I tell you, this looks absolutely breathtaking. That's actually uh, where I think uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator shines. Is uh, it's a, it's a good. Um, it's a good scenic simulator, in, in my view, at this point. Uh, definitely lots of fun to fly around and discover the world. There are some really breathtaking places. And the world is big, and it is beautiful. Can you see my lights behind your plane? Well, I'll tell you what. I'm going to switch over to external view. And, yeah, I can see two of you guys. One, two. I see two aircraft right behind me there. I can see the strobe lights. And, uh, all right, let me bring up the VFR map and let's click on GPS tracking. Let's zoom out. So there isn't, uh, much in the vicinity here. Yeah. All right, so it looks like uh, this is uh, Bakersfield, I believe, uh, Kilo Bravo Foxtrot Lima, and uh, we are actually still quite away from from it. But this looks pretty good. All right, looks like uh, we've got some invitations. I'm gonna go ahead and accept you guys. Accept and accept, all right. All right, all invitations have been accepted, folks. Now, one thing you can do in uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator is you can come here and instruct the um, aircraft uh, or the first officer to take control. So you have control, I said to my first officer, and now he is gonna take care of the um, aircraft and uh, fly it. I'm not sure exactly what he's doing, but it looks like he's gonna dive in. I'm not sure what he's doing to be very honest, but he is flying the aircraft now. And once you do that, you'll be able to kind of switch to external view. So we can go to external view now and do some fun stuff. And yeah, that looks absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, well, I'm not going to trust my first officer too much here, so I'm going to go ahead and take over. All right, so I have control. back to the VFR map. And we're going to go past that mountain area. Yeah, 
God, this looks fantastic. By the way, uh, there's one thing uh, that I normally do. Uh, let me show you. So we go one, two, three, four. Now this has increased the speed of the sim. Now you can see it's a bit jittery, uh, but it helps you kind of travel faster. Uh, and as you can see now, we're traveling uh, a lot faster. Uh, the frames suffer a little bit when you do that, uh, but nonetheless, it's something that you can do. So you can increase the simulation speed. And then we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, and now we're back to normal. So we've cleared that mountainous area and we're out here now. And if we bring up the VFR map once more, uh, we are not too far from Bakersfield. Right over there. GPS tracking. There we go. And if I'm not mistaken, the airport is right over there. So let's reduce our speed. And we're going to start descending now a little bit. Yeah. And let's see here. Just look at that. Kind of, uh, by the way, one of the things uh, that needs fixing in uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator is the trim. So once you start trimming the aircraft, it kind of goes haywire and just goes all over the place. Uh, so that's one thing I hope that they'll fix, uh, you know, soon. But yeah, it, it is definitely enjoyable uh, and a very promising flight simulator. Is the fast travel a mod? No, it is not a mod. It's a built-in uh, feature in Microsoft Flight Simulator, and you can just uh, map it to a joystick button or, you know, a keyboard button if that's what you choose to do. Hello, Captain. Hope you're having a great day. Well, yeah, couldn't do any better, man, my friend. I'm doing fantastic today. Uh, it was a bit of a uh, slow day at work today. Uh, everybody is uh, busy with the holidays, so. Uh, it was kind of light, lightweight day, uh, and uh, I saw a friend of mine. Um, yeah, all is good. Um, everything is moving in the right direction. A few hiccups, of course. The BAUs, business as usual stuff that happens, uh, you know, in your day to day. Uh, but yeah, overall, um, every day is a great day, my friend. That's how I see it. Every day is a great day. And it's on, you know, it's in, in its own right, uh, of course. And uh, really, in my view, is uh, is if you consider every day a great day, of course, uh, you know, you'll you'll encounter things during the day that will probably kind of, you know, stress you out. But it doesn't mean that it wasn't a great day. You know, the day is great by default. So I, I guess that's my philosophy, that every day is a great day. 
while some days are better than others, but they're all great. So there you go. Right, let's bring up the VFR map. Uh, we're not too far from you know the airport here, so there is an airport to our uh, left, uh, to our right, beg your pardon. So we should, let's see if we can actually spot the airport. This area looks pretty nice, huh? Well, I'm not sure I can spot the airport, but it shouldn't be, you know, it shouldn't be too far. I'm going to adjust the direction of travel here. Well, if I'm not mistaken, the airport is right over there. Let's see here, that is definitely the airport. So that's uh, where we're gonna head. And that's probably going to be my final destination today for this stream. Uh, so we're landing at Kilo Bravo Foxtrot Lima. That's where we're going to land. Oh, there's somebody right beneath me there. Well, I don't think I can see them. Man, look at that view. Absolutely fantastic. Very nice indeed. Alright, so here's what we're going to do. We are going to one, two, three, four, and five. That's perfect. One, two, three, four, and five. And as you can see now, this is the uh, airport uh, where we're going to land. I'm not sure what this is. Does anyone know what this is? Or is this just like a bug in the scenery or something? Yeah, I think it's probably some kind of a bug or something, I'm not sure. Well, I tell you, this scene is gorgeous. Yeah, that's what I thought. I thought it's a scenery bug. Well, can somebody, uh, if somebody lives in this area, maybe they can spot their house there. Once we land, I'll take a look for you guys, and uh, we'll find out uh, the, uh, you know, I can't, I think it's called simulation speed or something like that, but I'm not exactly sure, to be honest. Uh, but yeah, we'll definitely take a look once we are on the ground. And by the way, the nice thing about, uh, 
there, there is, you know, because of the scenery is so perfect in Microsoft Lot Simulator, they use Bing Maps, uh, obviously, uh, but there are so many grass uh, runways that you can land on, and it's really fun when you fly uh, around to find those uh, runways and, and land at them, uh, especially when doing group flights. Uh, it's immense fun, really a lot of fun. So there we go. So that's the airport to our right now. And that's where we we're going to land the aircraft and uh, then call it a day. I can see a few aircraft as well in the vicinity flying with us here today. Well, the arrival airport is Kilo Bravo Foxtrot Lima. We're going to begin our turn now. As you can see, this is a runway right there. I live in Kuwait, my friend. Yep, today is the casual flying, casual questions. <laughs> yeah, I live in Kuwait. Uh, I have been living in Kuwait for the past, uh, let's see, 20 years. Um, and before then, before that time, I was living in the States, uh, specifically in California, Fresno, California, uh, for about 10 years. Uh, I'm, I'm a Kuwaiti national, uh, so I was born and raised in Kuwait, uh, but I left uh, when I was uh, 18 to continue my uh, education. I uh, came back to Kuwait 10 years later or so. Um, yeah, it's been uh, it's been a great time. That's the runway now, and we're ready to land this aircraft. Uh, I can see a lot of aircraft in the vicinity here. So, by the way, I've turned off AI traffic. So, any aircraft you see is actually a, a live player uh, flying. Um, AI traffic seems to hog FPS, and so I turned it off. All right, here's the runway, and uh, we're going to line up now. So here is our turn towards the runway. And we're going to start reducing our speed. Good afternoon, Dale. How are you doing, my friend? We're just going to make small corrections here as we come into land. No, I'm not an investment banker. The runway is right ahead of us now. So here's what we'll do. One, two, three, four. That should bring us closer to the airport. One, two, three, and four. All right, that's much better. Uh, we're closer now. And just, guys, just look at this. This looks absolutely fantastic. So realistic. I mean, it is very realistic. Now, I'm not sure about the houses, of course. I cannot vouch for you know, how authentic this looks, but it looks amazing. All right, we're a bit too high, so we're going to start reducing our speed. Thank you that you told us about yourself, writing you from...
States. Hello there, my friend from Maryland. go. Let's go ahead and lower the landing gear. Hey, Dougal. Hello there, my friend, and welcome. Yeah, it definitely has been a very long time. And we have, uh, is it Voltic? Uh, from Lux uh, from Luxembourg. Hello there, my friend, and welcome to the stream. <laughs> that was really funny, Rad. I, I, you know, I keep talking uh, you into buying things, and I'm kind of glad that you know you find them, you know, fulfilling. Um, because if it wasn't, I would feel really bad. Uh, Dale, I have a quick question for you. I'm new to X-Plane and saw FS Flying School for X-Plane. Do you plan on a review of it? I already have done a review of FS Flying School. Uh, if you type in Flying FS, uh, FS Flying School Q8 Pilot, you should be able to find my video. Uh, I've done actually several, I think two of them. Um, in my view, FS Flying School is uh, one of the most entertaining and educational plugins available for x 11. It is, by the way, also available for MSFS. Um, now, the x version comes, uh, you know, you can buy some add-ons for it. Uh, I think I bought the full version when I originally bought the product. Um, it's enjoyable, I will tell you. If if you're new to flight simulation, I think FS Flying School will offer you something unique in terms of the experience. I think it's a lot of fun uh, and it teaches you uh, some of the real world procedures. It's got a really nice rating system. It rates all of the actions you perform, including uh, you know, uh, the lights, the use of lights, uh, you know, your taxi speed, uh, your uh, takeoff, your landings, uh, you know how well you have, uh, you know, uh, uh, kept to the localizer and glide slope. All that good stuff uh, is is available in FS Flying School. And then there is also uh, an autopilot uh, add-on for it uh, that even gives you uh, a bit more in terms of how to operate the autopilot. So all in all, I think it's worth its money. I think it's very educational, quite entertaining. If you ask me, uh, definitely uh, it's a it's a plugin that I would recommend for uh, for X Plane 11. I've used it also, by the way, for a P3D, and uh, I've used it uh, for um, MSFS, so for Microsoft Flight Simulator. It's a good product. Um, yeah, and if you're thinking about it, uh, definitely go for it. All right, folks, here we are on final uh, to land, and uh, it's really been a fun stream, and thank you so much, guys, for all your help uh, and helping me test, really, the audio, uh, both of the sim and uh, myself, and uh, for letting me know that all is good and dandy. Uh, I will be taking a look again at the video to see how those uh, overlays uh, came out on the screen because I can't see them while streaming. Uh, all right, let's go ahead and reduce power now. And let's pitch here, let's trim it. Trimming is one thing I absolutely dread in Microsoft Flight Simulator. But one thing you'll notice is as you see, so this is an actual player flying and you can actually see exactly what he's doing. So the, the behavior of the aircraft is something you can, uh, you can spot very clearly. 
And as uh, the aircraft come to land, you'll be able to see, you know, the crosswind and how the pilots, uh, you know, adjust uh, as, as they come into land. It's quite spectacular, really, to see what people do. Um, so, yeah, definitely a lot of fun. Right, here we go. We're going to maintain about 60 here as we come into land. Yeah, it looks like we're there's definitely some wind there and I don't I'm not sure if we're flying into the flying into the wind or not because that aircraft took exactly took off exactly the opposite uh, opposite runway. So we're probably not on the right uh, runway for approach. Yeah, it is it is kind of dis displaced. But, you know, we're going to shoot for those pappy lights there. There are no pappy lights, are there? Well, we're going to land right at the numbers or right after the numbers, so we're fine. We're still looking okay. We should be able to take the next taxiway. I think that's a right spot there. Power to idle. Someone waiting for us here. Bit of floater there. And touchdown. Alrighty. Looks like there is a taxiway there. Yeah. Well, I tell you guys, I really enjoyed uh, enjoyed this stream. Oh, were you? Oh, Sim Aviation. Oh, that was you. Okay. Well, I think this is a good spot for us to uh, bring the aircraft to a complete stop. Nice little area really to fly around. So thanks again for the recommendation. Uh, flying off from Lima 05 today. And it was quite fun uh, really doing uh, what we've done. Uh, I hope that it was... Uh, uh, I hope that it was useful for you guys. Uh, it was definitely useful for me. Uh, just testing everything out. Uh, so I do want to thank you guys once again very much for helping me set everything up. And uh, yeah, and thank you again, Rand, for your uh, for your donations. I really appreciate it. Uh, if you guys have a, have any ideas for the streams, uh, please uh, do send me an email at info at q8pilot.com. I'll be sure to get back to you as soon as I can. We have now powered off the aircraft. Right, let's just say continue. And uh, yeah, so as far as the group flights, uh, I know Simwings uh, do uh, organize group flights every now and then, so I'll probably try to join them. Uh, but uh, please, if you'd like to join me for, uh, for the next uh, flight that I'm gonna probably arrange for in the next couple of weeks, uh, do send me an invite. Uh, my handle is Q8Pilot8814. 
until next time, ladies and gentlemen, please take care of yourselves and each other, and I will see you all very soon. Thank you very much for tuning in today, and have a good night or a good morning, depending on where you are in the world. Bye-bye for now.